नमस्कार डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू कनेक्ट ए सर्किट ऑन ब्रेड बोर्ड ओके दैट इज द बेटर मेथड टू कनेक्ट द सर्किट ऑन ब्रेड बोर्ड ना फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल लुक एट द अरेजमेंट ऑफ द ब्रेड बोर्ड दिस इज अवर ब्रेड बोर्ड टिपिकली द पर्पज ऑफ ब्रेड बोर्ड इज टू टेस्ट द सर्किट ऑन इट बिफोर फाइनलाइजेशन or for the practical purpose we can connect the circuit on the breadboard and we can test the working of the circuit now uh, if we observe the breadboard there are several groups of five five holes typically this is the array of five holes here is the array of five holes here is the array of five holes this this and so on similarly on the core area of the breadboard this is the array of five holes this is the array of five holes this is the array of five holes up to this similarly this 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 these are the arrays of five five holes now each hole is internally connected with other four holes therefore if i insert a wire suppose if i insert a wire somewhere here and if i insert one more wire uh, somewhere here that means in two holes of a group of five holes then the wires are internally connected to each other therefore if i will have to establish the connection between this end of the wire and this end of the wire then we will have to just insert these two wires in the holes from a common row that means common group of five holes okay now uh, the adjacent holes from two different groups are not connected with each other therefore if i insert a wire somewhere here and somewhere here then there is no connection between these two wires uh, <clears throat> similarly if we observe the group of five holes from the upper section 1 2 3 4 and 5 these five groups are connected internally with each other that means if i insert a wire at this particular hole of the breadboard this is the hole of the breadboard and now why it is not inserting if i look at the wire carefully then you will observe that the the wire is not straight at the end there is slight bending and therefore we will have to avoid such type of insertion but if i insert this wire in this particular hole i will show you uh, this is somewhere here and then if i insert the another wire probably the hole is not clear this is the breadboard which is in use and therefore so many times so many students have used this breadboard and therefore few holes may be uh, problematic and if i insert another end of second wire somewhere here then these two wires are connected to each other because this group of five holes this group of five holes this this and this they are internally connected to each other generally uh, this upper array or upper line and this lower line these are not connected to each other therefore if this and this hole are used then there is no connection between these two wires okay but generally this upper line lower line and similarly two lines at the bottom of the breadboard are used for power supply connection that is vcc ground minus vee etc that means some reference a uh, voltage is to be provided for so many uh, terminals in a circuit then such line is to be used whereas the actual circuit is to be connect uh, at the central part of this uh, breadboard now for the reference if we will have to refer a particular hole for the documentation purpose or for the purpose of explanation which is rare in our case then each hole and each line is referred with some letter here it is a b c d e f g h i j here they have mentioned it is a b c d and uh, here there is number it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and so on here it is 5 10 15 and so on correct and therefore uh, you can refer a particular hole if required now in our case there is no need to uh, explain the circuit Uh, but if require then we can uh, use the reference of that particular hole uh, <clears throat> now for the practical or for the explanation of connection of circuit how to connect the circuit uh, we will use this circuit 
दिस इज द सर्किट ऑफ स्क्वेर एंड ट्रैंगुलर वेव जनरेटर ओके इन थेरी वी माइट हैव गॉन थ्रू द रोल ऑफ ईच सर्किट दिस सर्किट इज टिपिकली द सर्किट ऑफ कंपेरेटर करेक्ट ओके दिस सर्किट इज द सर्किट ऑफ इंटीग्रेटर एंड देर फोर वॉट एपन्स इफ द इनपुट टू द इंटीग्रेटर इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए स्क्वेर वेव वी विल एज्यूम दैट द आउटपुट वन इज स्क्वेर वेव हाउ इट इज स्क्वेर वेव वी विल डिस्कस लेटर ऑन देन द आउटपुट ऑफ द इंटीग्रेटर इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ट्रैंगुलर वेव now that output acts as the input to the uh, square wave generator that is comparator uh, through the resistance r1 and therefore we can say that as the voltage falls down it compares with zero voltage and when it reduces below certain voltage the output triggers and therefore this is the comparator it gives you the square wave the same square wave acts as a input for the uh, integrator and the overall circuit works as a Uh, square and triangular wave generator now uh, the discussion of theory is not the part of today's uh, video uh, therefore we will just keep the circuit <coughs> for our reference and we will connect this circuit on the breadboard you will realize how there is one one correspondence between the circuit component and the circuit that is actual component on the breadboard uh, for that Uh, we will use the random values of capacitor resistor r2 r1 r etc and here we will be using the op amp 741 okay it is op amp 741 now what are the basic steps when we connect the circuit we will have to fix the uh, line therefore i will assume that this upper line i am using as the vcc this lower line i am using as minus vee which is required for pin number 4 and pin number 7 that is pin number 7 is vcc pin number 4 is vee uh this line typically the upper line inner line from the lower group i will be using from the ground that means once we connect the circuit if i will have to uh, provide the power supply then what i will have to do i will have to insert the wire from uh, plus 12 volt somewhere here the wire from minus 12 volt somewhere here and the wire from ground somewhere here it will be available for entire circuit okay now these are the components now actually when we connect the circuit uh, you will have to sort the components and you will have to begin but i will begin with the operational amplifier therefore i will select the operational amplifier this is op amp with me i have kept it somewhere here then this is one more operational amplifier okay uh, then i will have to use one capacitor now as i told you i am not focusing on the value of the capacitor but just i am considering how to connect the circuit okay then i need three resistors therefore this is one resistor this is another resistor and this is the third one okay therefore i am using the uh, resistor values typical resistor remember that in ideal situation we will have to avoid the connection of circuit with help of such long legs of register and capacitor okay because if i connect the register capacitor something here then there is a possibility that uh, a particular wire may touch this leg and there will be modification of the circuit short circuit etc and therefore what we will have to do we will have to cut it as per our need with a height of the leg very small that means the component should be just above the breadboard i will show you with one capacitor but in normal connection we have, we will have to using these capacitors and resistors so many times and therefore we will have to keep the legs as it is but what is the ideal situation i will have to cut the leg somewhere here with help of the uh, stripper then uh, the situation is that the legs are very small and therefore when i insert the capacitor uh, in the hole adjacent hole or skipping one hole etc then it will just above the breadboard therefore the situation will be something like this and therefore there will not be any short circuit the wire or the leg of the capacitor any terminal will not interact with any other terminal but for the practical purpose we will not be using such type of connection similarly uh, when we connect a particular wire suppose this is a wire uh, which i will have to use for the connection okay actually if we observe the thickness of this particular breadboard uh, it is very small therefore when i insert the wire it should not touch the base or support to of the uh, breadboard and therefore 
the length of the wire should be about 5 to 6 millimeter this is too long correct this is too long but again as i told you if the wire which is available with you is of such type then what you will have to do while connecting the circuit i will explain but if you are using the fresh wire if you are using the fresh wire then why what i will have to do i will have to strip it out with a length about 6 millimeter that means it should not be very large at the same time when i cut the end suppose i will have to cut the wire somewhere here i will have to take a judgment what i will have to do i will have to connect the wire from this end or this hole of the breadboard up to this therefore i will cut the wire somewhere here okay i will i will mention i will cut the wire somewhere here using the breadboard uh, using the stripper the stripper should be of good quality so that the end of the wire will not be bended it will not bend slightly and then what I will have to do? I will have to strip it out. Once I strip it out, then I will have to uh, connect it something like this. See, I am bending the wire, end of the wire, I am bending the wire. And then I will have to insert the wire in the hole. Uh, as I measured, it is. it should insert exactly something like this. And if I, if I, uh, if I observe the connection, the connection should be firm. That means it, the wire will not come out. Okay, but in practice, Always it is not possible to strip out the wires and uh, make the wires of very small size and we need to use such type of wire. In this case we will have to give the proper shape to the wire and then we will have to insert the wire into holes such that the, wire, the insertion will be proper. It is just inside or 2 millimeter, 3 millimeter inside the breadboard. It may happen that a part of wire is open somewhere here and we will have to take care that it will not touch to the neighboring component okay and therefore our connection may be something like this therefore this is the ideal connection this is the good connection of the capacitor i will show you along with this this is the good connection of capacitor but practically what i will have to do practically i will have to keep the legs as it is and i will have to connect the component something like this similarly for the resistor practically the resistor has long lengths legs i will have to make them straight i will have to make them straight if required, I will have to ensure that both the legs are of same size, they will be on same level and I will have to connect the resistor something like this. See, okay, what, 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 what will be the ideal situation? Ideally, the resistor should touch the breadboard and therefore I will have to cut the legs of about 6 to 7 centimeter length and then I will have to insert it like this capacitor. But for the time being, we will uh, keep the ideal situation aside and we will begin with the connection of the circuit. Okay, if you observe the <coughs> IC, then the legs of IC are of proper size. You will observe here, somewhere here, the legs are about uh, 2 to 3 millimeter and therefore the insertion is proper. Now, while inserting the IC, we will have to use the central part of the breadboard. Therefore, here I will insert the first IC. Okay, we will have to take care that the notch is to the left side. Therefore, while naming the pins, the pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now as the pin number 1 is inserted in this particular hole, uh, that means A, B, C, D, E, here it is F. It is F say for example 16, it is F16, suppose, I am not measuring exactly F16, then F16 is connected to G16, H, I and J, all the wires are, holes are internally connected. Means, if I will have to provide uh, minus VEE to pin number 4 then what I will have to do I will have to connect any of the hole to the minus terminal and therefore I will insert one wire from this because I am using the lower uh, line of the lower group that is outer line of the lower group as minus VEE that means pin number 4 is connected to minus line because here I am using negative terminal of from the battery that is minus 12 volt here i am connecting in future i will connect plus 12 volt somewhere here ground somewhere here and therefore this will establish the connection between minus 12 volt through this with pin number 4 similarly i will have to connect pin number uh, uh, pin number 7 to plus vcc therefore i will uh, use similar wire keeping the convention that red is preferably used for VCC, black is for ground or minus VE, etc. If the more colored wires are available with us, then we may uh, select our convention. Therefore, oh sorry, this is pin number 8. I will have to connect pin number 
फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन दैट मीन्स पिन नंबर सेवन इज टू बी कनेक्टेड टू वी सी सी देर फोर आई विल कनेक्ट इट समथिंग लाइक दिस नाउ यू माइट बी ऑब्जर्विंग दैट इफ द वायर इज नॉट प्रॉपरली इंसर्टेड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर होल सपोज देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम विद दिस होल इट इज नॉट प्रॉपरली ओपन देन आई कैन सिलेक्ट द एडजस्टेंट होल विच इज कनेक्टेड इंटरनली ओके दिस इज दिस सिमिलरली वॉट आई विल हैव टू डू आई विल हैव टू इंसर्ट अनदर आई सी दिस इज सेकंड ऑपरेशन एल एम्पलीफायर आई विल हैव टू प्रोवाइड द पॉवर सप्लाई टू दिस देर फोर आई विल कनेक्ट पिन नंबर सेवन टू वी सी सी पिन नंबर सेवन अप टू दिस पिन नंबर सेवन इज अवेलेबल देर फोर आई विल इंसर्ट द वायर फ्रॉम दिस पिन नंबर सेवन एंड देन एनी ऑफ द वी सी सी देर फोर दिस इज पिन नंबर सेवन टू वी सी 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 द इंसर्शन मस्ट बी प्रॉपर बिकॉज फॉर द वर्किंग ऑफ द सर्किट Uh, there must be proper and firm connection between terminals therefore this is pin number 7 to vcc similarly i will have to use one more wire see i am using the wires which are available with me i am not cutting the additional wire the wires are with me i can use these wires too uh, with help of the sharp stripper okay then pin number 4 of second operational amplifier to uh, minus vcc line minus ve line therefore this this is the connection now i always prefer to connect the circuit as per the diagram and therefore what i will have to do similar to the diagram i will have to insert the components okay i will have to insert the components see here what i can do uh, pin number okay 7 is connected to vcc 4 is connected to minus v 7 is connected to vcc 4 is connected to my therefore this connection is over this connection is over this is over this is over now one more uh, connection is possible for me pin number 2 of first ic that is inverting terminal and pin number 3 of second that is non inverting terminal are to be connected to ground therefore uh, another possible possibility is that i will use the green wire for this pin number 2 of the first ic is to be connected to ground therefore pin number 2 now remember that while inserting the wire uh, for pin number 2 Uh, i will have to avoid the adjacent holes that is pin number 3 and pin number 2 adjacent holes i will avoid just the reason is that if the wires are uh, connected internally that means so many times we are using this breadboard uh, so many students are using the breadboard therefore it may happen that internally suppose the insertion of wire is too long and then if the wire comes out from this part of the breadboard then there is a possibility that the wire from this particular hole and the wire from this particular hole may touch each other from the back side and to avoid this if the adjacent lines are to be used it is better to use this particular end or this particular hole and this hole that means uh, the holes which are away from each other in case if i will have to use all the five holes then there is no possibility or then there is no alternative i will have to use the adjacent holes at that time we will have to make sure that there is no internal contact between these two holes because of the damage of the breadboard or because of the error in the breadboard this is pin number 2 which is connected to ground now pin number 3 of this is to be connected to ground at that time i will have to ensure that uh, the pin number uh, Three. See, this is, this is too long wire, and therefore, if I connect it somewhere here, and if I insert it with higher extent, then it may cross the breadboard and come out. And therefore, what I will do? I will use this particular hole. That means hole which is uh, sufficiently away from the hole which is previously used for pin number four. This is the hole which is used for pin number four, but I will use this particular hole for pin number three. At the same time, you will observe that the wire is open for this section. and while connecting the other component i will have to ensure that it will not touch this part of the wire okay now now what i will have to do see output of pin number uh, output of first ic that is pin number 6 of first is to be connect to pin number 2 of second through the resistor most of the time what the student prefer they use pin number 2 or pin number 6 of this this is pin number 6 and pin number 2 that means they connect the circuit something like this as per as the connection point of view it is okay that means there is connection between the output of the first ic that is pin number 6 to the input of pin number uh, that is second ic that is pin number 2 but it is not a proper way when you if you will have to change the component then it will be problematic and therefore what i will suggest if there is a connection 
then insert the resistance something like this keep the resistance and you will have to remember that this resistance is linkage between the first ic and second ic and then what you will have to do you will have to use the wire from the pin number 6 to one end of the resistor therefore you will have to connect uh, it like this this is pin number 6 pin number 6 and one end of the resistor i will give the proper shape to the wire that means it should be in a half circle type okay therefore this is output of pin number 6 output of um, uh, this 741 first operation and amplifier that is pin number 6 it is connected to one end of the resistance i will have to make sure that the connection is firm this line i am using as the temporary line intermediate line now from this to pin number 2 i will have to uh, connect the circuit again there are so many ways someone can connect the circuit inserting from pin number 2 and directly somewhere here it is pin number uh, output of that is uh, one end of the resistor but at that time i will have to bend the wire such that it will it will convey that there is a connection from this to this now why, why it is important our ic must be open if you will have to remove this ic there should not be some damage to the other part of the circuit other part of the circuit should remain as it is and you should remove the ic with help of your fingers otherwise what is the better situation or what is the ideal situation you may use the jumpers different jumpers that means you may establish the connection from this end to to the lower end of the group that means from this particular end of terminal of the resistor to here and then from this to this right i will show you this type of connection too therefore i will be using one more wire and then i will make the connection between pin number 2 and the resistor end second end other end of the resistor therefore now this will this will form the established connection between the required connection see therefore what is happening this wire will connect pin number 6 to the resistor another end of the resistor is connected to this wire up to this and this to this therefore this path will establish the required connection from pin number 6 to pin number 2 through the resistor okay now this is a scale work therefore so someone can use some another alternative uh, you may think about you may you may avoid this wire and you can connect the resistor from this to this yes it is also possible because uh, from this to this the resistor will act as a jumper the wire is connected in between pin number 6 to resistor and resistor to pin number 2 therefore this will form the uh, establish similarly for each component you will have to think about a better path and second thing is that when you insert a component the component on the breadboard should look like the circuit on your paper because while troubleshooting if you will have to test what is the voltage at pin number six what is the voltage at this intermediate uh, pin what is the voltage at this intermediate pin this pin etc etc in complicated circuit then if the circuit on the breadboard is similar to the circuit which is on the paper then it is always better to uh, deb debug the circuit easily okay therefore now what i will do i will insert a capacitor somewhere here now i am knowing that the pin number six to pin number two i will have to insert a capacitor therefore i will insert it from pin number six to somewhere here it is possible it is not crossing the uh, ic and therefore it is okay no need to uh, connect a wire from pin number six to the one end of the capacitor but from this point onwards what i will have to do i will have to use so many wires that means from pin number two i will make a connection up to this particular uh, end somewhere here this is pin number two to this end and then from this particular end to here i will establish a connection and that will connect pin number two to pin number six through the capacitor okay now you will observe that if we am I, I am using the wires which are available with me then there are so many bridges so many wires which are crossing so many components etc and therefore while handling the circuit it is necessary to take some care but if i am using the fresh wire each time with a sharp stripper and suppose each wire is touching the breadboard each wire is touching the breadboard i am i am cutting the wire as per the 
length which is required and every wire is close to the breadboard then uh, then it will be very easy to handle the circuit okay but each time it is not possible and therefore i will connect the circuit line okay this is okay this part is now over now what i will have to do i will have to connect register number 2 uh, r2 that is pin number 6 to pin number 3 therefore i will use a resistor it is pin number 3 to pin number 6 therefore there are two ways either i can use pin number 6 2 here this will be okay or i can connect from pin number 3 to here and then i will have to make the connection from this end to pin number 6 by with help of so many jumpers so many wires etc okay uh, now i will connect uh, this this type of connection too i will show you how to connect i am connecting pin number 6 uh, to this end somewhere here and then i will have to use one more jumping wire to establish the connection between uh, one end of the resistor this end of the resistor and pin number 6 through this newly inserted wire that means i will insert it here then i will insert it here and therefore see pin number 3 through resistor is connected to pin number 6 pin number 3 through register is connected to pin number 6 this must be r2 now i will have to uh, remember that this register is r2 now if it is as per the circuit as per the circuit then it is better to change the position of this uh, wire and the register because in the circuit the register is in the upper part and therefore uh, i will change it i will change it this is your r2 it is as per the circuit and from this to this i am using the wire and therefore um, uh, while troubleshooting or if we will have to debug the circuit then it will be easy to debug the circuit which is connected uh, in this form okay i will establish the connection okay you will observe that this is pin number six to this end then from this to this it is wire then there is a register and it is to the pin number six now finally i will have to connect resistance r1 from pin number six of second operational amplifier to pin number three and that will establish the uh, feedback path okay therefore what i will have to do i will have to connect the resistor somewhere now uh, see here uh, i will i will use one more technique i will connect the resistor something like this then pin number six i will connect to this end of the resistor okay one minute i am giving proper shape to the wire so that uh, i can insert the wire properly this is pin number six to one end of the register this is and this will be the output too okay therefore what i will have to do uh, if i am i will have to measure the uh, voltage on cro if i will have to trace the waveform on cro then i will make the output available somewhere here okay means now while connecting the cro to the end of the cro i will uh, use the hookup wire and i will insert these wires are known as hookup wires i will insert it here okay Similarly, the ground is to, to be made available at the right side. I will show you later on. Now, another end of the resistor is to be connect to pin number uh, pin number uh, 3. Okay. Now, in this case, suppose the ends are too long. Then at that time, you may think about the connection of or making the connection with help of the long wire. But uh, it is always not recommended sometimes you can do this therefore i will show you as one example for the same suppose i am using the the wire of sufficiently long length okay i am using uh, this wire therefore what i will do i will insert the wire here okay then i will insert the wire uh, for pin number three one more interesting thing is that the pin number three is available here too means if i insert the wire here then that will establish the connection between uh, the output of the register and pin number 3. Remember that this is not the good or ideal situation. Ideally, it is better to cut the wire and connect it something like this. But to avoid the wastage of wire, sometimes if the long connection is there, uh, then you may use such type of technique. Uh, at the time of debugging or testing the circuit too, you may think about, okay, see this is a damage to the wire. It, it, it has been cut. Therefore, I will have to remove this and I will have to make the new connection. One minute. Okay, this is pin number 3 to 
this end okay and i will insert it here okay therefore you will observe that uh, it is better to cut it but while testing the circuit it may help you uh, you will realize that this is the feedback okay uh, one more situation is there uh, one output that is output of the second first op amp is to be measured and therefore this is the output what i will have to do i will have to bring that output away i will use one more wire i will make the judgment then i will cut the wire i am stripping it out okay and you will observe that pin number 6 that means which is available here this is pin number 6 see 5 and 6 this 6 uh, i will bring it here as the as the output of first operational amplifier now uh, one more connection additional connection it is a jumper i will use for the uh, inner line of lower group see if i connect the ground of cro somewhere here it will not establish the connection with this ground because these five groups 1 2 3 4 five are internally connected but there is no connection between these two and therefore what i will have to do i will have to make some jumper correct right? i will insert a jumper here this jumper will connect this group that is 25 pins from this to this 25 holes from this to this to these 25 holes and therefore now what i will do if i will have to connect this circuit to the power supply that means the uh, devices then i will insert here plus vcc that is 12 volt i will insert a wire somewhere here anywhere which is ground i will insert a wire somewhere here that is minus 12 remember that i will avoid the adjacent hole i will use this hole for ground and i will use this hole for minus vee or this hole for minus vee and so on this is input part or power supply part now here i can use this any one of this as a ground if i am using two channels of the cro one channel can be grounded here another channel can be grounded here because these 25 holes are connected internally and we are connected already the 25 group with this 25 group with this jumper then uh, to the to the live wire of the cro there is channel 1 i will insert it here i will have to use sufficiently long wire for the cro so that the crocodile pins of the cro will not disturb the circuit and then i will have to Uh, switch on the circuit obviously with a prior permission of your teacher in charge now while connecting the circuit each time you will have to connect the circuit like this similarly i will recommend that the circuit connection must be done by a single person single student and a partner has to test the circuit with help of the circuit diagram again here i will ensure that whether the pin number 7 is connected to 